Welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about, we are going to talk about, I wish I could speak. <laughs> we're going to talk about the effect of life and how it affects the physical body. So today we're going to talk, yesterday we talked about, um, what did we talk about yesterday? Shoulders. Today we're going to talk about eyes. And uh, there's so many um, issues that occur within the eyes um, or around the eyes or within the eyes, uh, flickering of the eyelids, anything around or within the eyes. So you could be long-sighted, short-sighted, you could be, and, and it's the opposite way around, right? If you're short-sighted, uh, it's the opposite way around. If you're long-sighted, it's the opposite, it's like weird. But anyway, we talk about the eyes and uh, sometimes um, you, you can have a blurred vision as well. Oh my God, there's so many things that happened to my clients over the years with their eyes. And um, what I'm going to talk about is um, not how to heal them per se, but what are the reasons why we go through all of these stages within the eyes. The one thing I'd like to say is that it's fixable. And um, the one thing I'd like to say is that glasses aren't the answer. Um, they're, they're temporary, they're temporary. And um, sometimes when your eyes get used to glasses, then they become uh, less, um, they become lazy, basically. So anyway, shut up, man. We're talking about emotions. So let's have a drink. <clears throat> when we are born, we come into a world when we see our beautiful mother and we end up smiling most of the time as babies. We smile at people around us, we smile at everything because the world kind of smiles back. And when you're a baby, it doesn't matter where you go, there's always somebody smiling because we love babies, most people anyway. And the world that we see is pure, it's pure. And as a mother and a father, we, we do our best to protect our children. So we show them environments of nice things. We show them Mother Earth, we show them love, we show them animals, we show them things that, you know, are so beautiful, like holidays, beaches, uh, forests, uh, playgrounds, all of these things. So as a child, our sight is very, very, very strong, very strong and powerful. Now, as we get older, um, if we are in a, a relationship in a sense of a mother and father who abuse each other or a, a brother or sister who is jealous of, of us or um, at school, we have uh, children that are some children that can be really uh, aggressive and angry and bully. We see through our eyes and what we see in our environment and the people around us, what we see, what they're doing, their actions, uh, lays within the eyes. So if we see a lovely world, as we see that world being lovely, our eyes become stronger. But when we see things that are not right, because we know what's right and wrong, when we see wrong, wrongdoings, when we see injustice, when we see abuse, it's an energy that enters into the eyes. And the more abuse that we see, the more it affects the eyes. Because it's the first part of call. It's the first thing. Because your eyes catch on the abuse or on the issue or on the experience. And at that moment, it has to enter through the eyes. You can't close your eyes to everything. So as you're seeing things that you know are wrong your eyes are feeling that and it is an energy of negativity of darkness of abuse of wrongdoings and that can have an effect very quickly um, on a side note I can talk to you about a lot of my clients whose hair turned white overnight and that is a, a sure thing that you can see you can you can scientifically observe and see and it happened overnight because of a shock energy and you can put that to the problem of whatever you've seen but it's very difficult with sight 
you can't really relate. People, doctors, nurses, um, whoever, they don't really relate to the emotion per se. Some areologists do, who are, who are more on the uh, open spiritual side of things. But, you know, you go to an optician and they, they have no understanding of this. All they see is the, the actual, the cause, not the cause, the, the, the root cause and then the effect. So this like illness is the effect of whatever the root cause was. So they never talk about the root cause, if you understand me. So what I mean is that when the eye or eyes become unbalanced, it is because of a root cause to something that you witnessed, you saw, you physically saw with your eyes. Now you're gonna get many people saying, yeah, but I use my eyes all the time on the computer or this and that. Well, so do millions of other people and have no issues all their life. So that, that, that isn't a pattern, but a pattern is definitely there for what we see in our life. I've known a lot of people in my time as being a healer and people with very strong eyesight. I've always asked them this question, have you seen a lot of suffering in your life? And a lot of them said, no. Some said, I've seen a bit. And I said, they're, they're the most interesting. What did you do to heal from that? And they, and this is where we're going to go on to now. This is what I'm going to explain. So there, there are people who have been able to clear what they saw to be able to have strong eyes again. So I've had clients who have had terrible, terrible issues with their eyes. And then after a few healing sessions and after learning to clear the suffering of what they saw in their life, their eyesight became stronger and stronger. And with the help of obviously eating the right fruit and vegetables like carrots, um, it's important that we exercise our eyes. Don Tolman is a go-to for eye exercise. I can give you a kind of idea of how to do it. I think it's the 13 knots. So from here to the tip of my finger is going to be a knot here, a knot here in a rope or even tie a, a ribbon around here and here and do that 13 times and then tie the rope around a tree, hold it to you and look at each ribbon and do it about 10 or 15 times. Focus on the first ribbon. When you've got full focus on it, then focus on the second ribbon, third, fourth, till you get to the 13th ribbon and then go back to the 12th and go all the way back. Exercise that, do that for one month and Don Tolman says your eyes will be stronger and you will feel much better in your life. And, and this is real, this is true. I've tried it and it's helped me. I'm 54 years old now and I still have fairly good eyesight. Um, when I'm looking at really tiny, tiny words, it's a struggle. But if I pull back, I get my vision and I've never needed to have any glasses. My father had glasses when he was younger, so I've broken the mold of my father, but my father saw a war. My father was in a war, and because he was in a war, what he saw was horrific, and it stayed in his eyes. So certain things we can do, what I noticed on my clients from the healing of eyes, uh, are physical, emotional, and spiritual. The spiritual, is more what I'm interested in. So there are certain places you can place your hands at the back of the head, as well as the front of the head in line with here. So you can one hand like this, hold out, receive one hand to give here. So you do the first eye and then when you finish, you can swap hands, always receiving and always giving this way. Then you can do it like this and like this and what I used to do with my clients was between five and one hour on both eyes. So I do five minutes, so two and a half minutes on each eye, uh, back and forth. And then within a spate of three months, their eyes got stronger and stronger. There are other things, other methods that you can use. And one of the methods that I really like is the pointers. The pointers work really well for me, but you've got to find which pointer works for you because each pointer 
as a crystal has meaning and energy to the eye. So you might take a, a labradorite, which is going to strengthen the eye. You might take a, a rose quartz, which might help comfort the pain and the suffering that the eye went through from what it saw. You might get a beautiful piece of amethyst, which then will spiritually uh, uh, help strengthen and the connection to the spirit world. So there's so many different methods you can use, but if I just grab one, uh, just be a bit careful when you're working with it. Um, I would personally close my eyes, but a lot of my clients love to have their eyes open. So as you hold the crystal, I like to put it here and hold it like this, okay? So I've got the energy from the palm and the fingertips all going into this pointer. And then I close my eyes and just rotate my hands rotate my hand remember always this hand is receiving and this is blasting into that point and you know sometimes i can feel it now i can feel the, the the energy in my eye and i can feel it going weird and this is a healing method that works really well you can go clockwise anti-clockwise but the fascinating thing is that you will feel this laser of energy touching your eye and moving so you can actually feel it after a while when you get used to it and and also what you can do is go to your third eye for about two or three minutes just to finish off and that works well now there is another way you can use it is by holding the the, the pointer again here and then close your eyes but very gently go above and below so you go into the sockets and you're just massaging the sockets. I wouldn't use any oil here. I just massage gently all around and it releases a lot of stress from the eyes. So if you're touching that, that socket, that hard section and just gently massage it, you'll find that there's a great release and a, a healing of tension of past that day, that week, that month. But when you're working in this method, and when you're working with your hand over your eye, you don't have to move it, just keep it there a few few inches away. You'll find that you'll feel heat, and that heat or tingling, anything like that, that is a pure energy healing cleansing. So you're cleansing the pain and the suffering from the eyes. So that's something that is vital. You need to try to do that. Most people don't even consider eye healing, but it was part of my daily work as a healer full time. So a lot of people came and the younger kids are, are so easy to clean the eyes. They're so, uh, uh, it's so easy to clear children's issues in their eyes. Adults are a little bit more difficult because they've got layer after layer after layer of pain, suffering, abuse, uh, all the things that they didn't want to see and we don't want to see. Most of the things around us, we don't want to see. We don't want to see people being hurt. We don't want to see people being abused. We don't want to see all of these things that happen daily. And when you're looking at a screen, especially a black screen, and it's filled with nothing but breaking news to break your heart, to break your mind, to break everything in you, then you, you're seeing it. You're seeing all the pain and suffering. And that is definitely something you need to be aware of. So if somebody said to me, how do I heal my eyes? I normally say the first thing you need to do is switch your phone off and go into Mother Earth and find beautiful things that make your eyes fill with good energy. So the more beautiful things you're looking at, the more beautiful books that you read with nice images, the more beautiful things that you touch and feel, smell, the trees, plants, uh, flowers, the more you interact with nature, the more your eyes heal and strengthen. And that is a fact. That is fact. The more you give yourself healing to your eyes, the more you will heal your eyes. The more that you practice the strengthening your eyes is a fact. It will help strengthen your eyes. You can strengthen your eyes back to being young again. And people will say this is nonsense, but it's not. I've seen it. I know it. I know it but it depends on what you want to do. If you go to a gym and you pump exercise, if you're pumping iron, you're going to strengthen them muscles. It's exactly the same thing with clearing your eyes and making them strong. If you want to make them strong, then you feed them with all the right nutrients, all the right medicines, meaning Mother Earth. Not medicines from a bottle, Mother Earth. Mother Earth's herbs, Mother Earth's plants, flowers, Mother Earth's, Mother Earth's uh, vegetables, 
Mother Earth's fruits, as long as they're organic, you will feed the eyes, but really and truthfully, after exercising your eyes, like, like I say, there's another method you can use, which is called sun gazing. It's incredible, I do it most days. When the sun is on the horizon and it comes up, okay? So the sun just comes up. So in the morning when you get up and all of a sudden the sun comes up, if you hold your fist against the horizon, you've got from here to here to sun gaze. As the sun comes down, if you hold your hand here and the sun hits here, when the sun comes to here till it goes down, you can sun gaze. That's a safe way to sun gaze. I could go into detail on sun gazing. I could talk about this as a workshop for a full afternoon. But let me say, if you just sun gaze, it will strengthen the eyes, it'll strengthen the spirit, it strengthens your energy. Honestly, it's a brilliant way to exercise the eyes. On a final note, my belief as a healer, what I've seen with people who have um, strengthened their eyes, cleared uh, many issues and diseases and illnesses from the eyes, I have witnessed over the time that they came to me till the time that their eyes were better. Uh, salt baths are fantastic for the eyes as well. What I witness most of all is a combination that is normally missed. So the combination is natural, exercising in the way I say, the healing, the healing, energy healing, and finally, to change what you see around you. I now have decided not to look at negativity. I've decided not, not to be involved. My experience now is purely love, healing, strength, creativity, paint, going to Mother Earth, but I am not looking at anything that is going to cause my eyes suffering anymore. That would be my talk today on the eyes. Uh, I Just on a final note, guys, I'm a healer. I talk about this kind of thing in two-day workshops, and sometimes I talk about the eyes for about six or seven hours. So I try and break this down to the key points but there's far more than that. But I hope this little short video has served you well and it's given you food for thought. Let medicine be thy uh, food and let food be thy medicine. Look after yourself and please start to look at the beauty in the world instead of the suffering and you will have new eyes in a short time. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for going to mountbayeski.com. Remember, we still have this beautiful, beautiful pure energy healing crystal, which is the Moldavite. It's a Bessonitz, and it is absolutely 100% museum grade. So any crystal that you buy off mattbyeski.com, you will be entered into a raffle to be possibly the winner of one of the most beautiful Moldavites in the world. If you decide to also buy three packets of pure energy healing, and it is the most beautiful incense in the world to cleanse your body and heal yourself from negative thoughts and feelings and emotions. If you buy three of these, you will be entered into a raffle automatically at the end of the month to get a year supply. So two people are going to be happy bunnies. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you once again. I'll put the link below to everything that I do and all my work, and I hope it serves you well. Have a great day.